Hey guys, it's Sarah here. Welcome to my daily painting channel where, as you know, I've just been uh, relearning to paint after quite a long time away, doing little daily paintings and just working out some techniques and things which I am sharing with all you wonderful people, which has been really exciting. Um, today what we're doing is we're painting this little wee painting that you can see here. Um, with that pretty um, with that pretty sky. I've been working on my skies as I know um, a lot of you are aware of and uh, this is the one that was its sort of inspiration piece. This was a horrible horrible sky and I um, attacked it with a paintbrush um, a few days ago and repainted a lot of it. I haven't finished the the bottom of this yet though and um, I was really quite happy with how it was coming out so I did a um, another version of that uh, another version of that sky anyway uh, let's get started as you can see here this is just some of the um, other paintings that I have been doing this week which is um, a little bit exciting um, I don't think that was in there actually just some basic little skies and studies and things that I have been um, I've been doing in, uh, in here. and this is one is also not finished it's for a, uh, a friend's photo uh, she's a little bit poorly at the moment in hospital and um, just some of the bigger pieces I've been working on. Greens is the next one that I'm dealing with. So I'm happy that the mountains are starting to kind of work a little bit but the greens suck. Anyway so we're going on to them, we're going on to them next but for the moment we're still stuck in skies. So um, let's get started with the little um, painting. All right, guys. Okay, uh, here we are. So I'm just working with a slightly, still slightly modified um, palette. There you can see that's the painting. I'm basing it off there on the right hand side. Uh, so I'm working with burnt sienna, ultramarine, some yellow ochre, um, black and white. As you know, I'm trying to remove my reliance on black in my landscape panel um, palette at the moment. Uh, look, it's got its place and I'm not an anti-black person, you can't use black, but at the same time I feel I overuse it a little bit when I could be using other paints to desaturate and make things uh, a little bit better. So we'll see how we go. Um, as I said before, we've been dealing with sky studies at the moment and that's where I am in my little sort of painting journey and just going through and learning those. Um, coming up soon I'll be doing some more uh, stormy skies. Um, I've got a friend's photo who I've asked to use for that and we'll be doing those soon but for the moment we're just doing some nice uh, pretty sort of more um, uh, clear sky sort of work with some clouds and things. So I like to start with uh, ultramarine blue and uh, white mixed with a little bit of the um, burnt sienna there just to just to desaturate it a tiny little bit. In a couple of the other paintings that I have been doing, I've also been adding, like just in the bottoms in here, a little bit of the cobalt teal as well, just to green it up a little bit, because the ultramarine is quite a warm blue. Um, it comes out quite purple, as you can see in a lot of the paintings. And um, I'm finding it's just a little bit too purple for some of the skies and things that I would like to paint a little bit more realistically I guess so um, yeah I'll be going through a little bit of a discussion about um, you know paint colors and blends and things in another video coming up shortly because I've had quite a few people ask me about what I you know about pigments and things because I'm you know quite interested in you know what goes into the paints and you know what what um, what brands have what what colors in them and I'll be talking about that coming up soon so what I'm doing here is I'm just creating a little bit of a gradient so um, I want a slightly grayer top to the skin to the sky so I have added a little bit of black in that um, sienna just to to dull the blue down it's sort of a bit like you know a hazy top to the sky a little bit of clouds in the background it's not that straight sort of blue bright at the top you know gradient down to white at the bottom which is fine um, but it's just not quite what I was going for in this particular painting so not quite like this one here which is like a dark blue at the top going down to a lighter at the bottom um, this one has that uh, slightly smokier color at the top where there's maybe a little bit of clouds sort of just drifting over the surface um, and then you've got this uh, like spot in the middle of quite a bright uh, quite a brighter blue where there's a lot less um, 
I haven't put any uh, burnt sienna in particular in that. And what I'm doing with that is I'm just gently popping in that colour with it and very gently nudging it in with the um, the filbert brush, making sure that it's ever so slightly slightly damp. Because I'm working with the Italian Interactive Paints. Um, which are these ones, uh, these ones here, they have a slightly longer open work time than normal acrylics, which does make this a little bit easier. So if you're working with normal acrylics, sometimes you, you do have to work a little bit, a little bit faster um, and do that. Oh yes, I'm just going to let that dry. And now I've got that slight sort of top coat on and also again down the bottom. It's so it's sort of lighter at the top and lighter at the bottom with that brighter area um, in the middle. <coughs> I'm still recovering from being sick. I'm sorry, guys. It's been like two and a half weeks now. Um, and then I just decided I wanted a smidge an extra colour just up in that up in that top corner. Um, I'm not a... A lot of the disguise I'm doing at the moment are not very, 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 very smooth. They're not all one colour, beautifully blended in with those big brushes to make them absolutely perfect. Um, it's not really quite where I'm <laughs> going with a lot of those. But... Um, so just gently nudging in with that filbert brush um, or in this case it's going to be the round pointed brush that I've got there and I'm mixing up a base color for my clouds and I'm making a warm and slightly desaturated with that black um, just a base color for the clouds I want them to be uh, bright but not storm clouds so not just gray clouds they just got a little bit of color in them just to make them that little bit uh, less white. Uh, the way to make your white stand out in your painting is to make some of your whites actually not white. Uh, the less actual white you need to use in your painting, like for those tiny little highlights, uh, the brighter you know they're going to, the brighter they're going to appear. Um, so by adding in you know other colors into your clouds that are not plain white it's going to make the white bits stand out that little bit a little bit more and uh, as i said i'm working towards um, adding in some more stormier skies and things over the next uh, next couple of weeks although i have started to be fair a little bit doing my green studies as well but anyway i'm still doing a lot of skies i like skies um, and I have a feeling that I will be doing a lot more of these on this channel. So if you want to <laughs> learn a lot about how, um, in some ways not to do skies, but also some ways to do skies, um, it'd be great if you could hit that little subscribe button and um, come and say hello, show me what you're doing or, um, you know, any, any methods or anything that you particularly, particularly like. Now, when I'm painting in these clouds, I like to do a bit of a draft sort of run and just wiggle the paintbrush around in a couple of random areas. I do not start and finish one cloud because if you do that, um, you sort of end up with mm, like blobby, blobby clouds. So um, if you start and finish one cloud and you bring that to perfect and then you've got to start again another, sometimes it doesn't look very cohesive and... Um, doing the wiggling sort of around the canvas and slowly bring it all together I find that I end up with some slightly loose edges and things because you've done a little bit of a draft with a slightly damp paintbrush with a, you know not very much paint and it kind of looks like the wispy bits at the edge of the edge of the clouds and some of those we smooth out and you know wipe away and others I leave um, just to add a little bit of interest because sometimes the cloud edges are smooth and sometimes they are you know a little bit a little bit jagged I'm just using a little bit of my liquefying medium there, um, either that or water. Um, I don't like to use too much because it does sort of, you know, um, take away the bonds in the paint, which you don't really want. Um, but just a little bit, just to help smooth that, smooth that around. And um, just going back in and just adding paint then into not all of the middles and not always dead in the center of the clouds either so sometimes you know the heavier part of a cloud's sort of at the bottom or sometimes it's at the top or the side or there's two little bits in the cloud and you just want to sort of make sure that you've got clouds of different sizes and they're not all in a little um a little straight line unless they're supposed to be um, i think I, I mentioned in my um video previously about this really weird sky that um i saw on the way back from the shops and they were just perfect little blobby clouds you know dead flat line under them, just like you draw in like a kid's book with the, you know three little bumps up the top and they're all in this little row coming down the hill and of course i couldn't take a photo because you know i don't take photos when i'm driving in the car because that's illegal 
um, <clears throat> it's sort of, you know, like a kilometer away from the police station. It's probably not the best plan. So I didn't. Um, and then other things there, just making sure those clouds go off a little bit off the side of the page. You're not just finishing all your clouds sort of in the center as well. Um, and you can see there those little wispy clouds. I'm sort of brushing off the off the side of the side of the page there. Um, <clears throat> and I think, yeah, yeah, that's right. I add some more clouds that go off the that right hand side as well a little bit later on. And I kind of work in layers, so obviously they're not finished up the top yet, but you can see how it's sort of starting to come through with some sort of a light haze sort of under the bottom and then some clouds starting to sort of build up. And I just do lots of layers with the acrylics because uh, I can. Unlike oils, you know, I've got the option of doing that in one sitting, which is great. Leave that for 10 minutes because there's such thin layers of little paint and things in there um, and they're dry. And you can see here I'm doing that sort of draft idea again, um, just wiggling and roughly where I think I might like those those clouds. And if I don't like one of them, when there's only a tiny little bit of paint like that, just wipe it away. Um, if you get a really clean paintbrush dipped in clean water um, and then just gently nudge the paint off the canvas, you can, you can do that as well as long as the paint underneath is relatively dry. Wipe your brush, get some clean water, um, dry it off, you know, make it just damp, not wet, and then just slowly nudge that paint off and um, you can get, you know, marks and stuff like that off your, off your um, canvas relatively easily if you have to. And so here I'm just doing exactly the same, working in with that sort of burnt sienna and um, grey uh, sort of undertones to those clouds just figuring out exactly where um, where I want those where I want those to go <clears throat> oh, I don't think my voice is still quite back <laughs> sorry yeah anyway so I've been really enjoying um, really enjoying doing these guys my wonderful friends have been sending me photos and every every couple of days they're like oh Sarah paint this one and um, sending me sending me photos and things and I am running out of like I've got so many that I could do and I printed out a whole heap um, the other day of, of clouds you know going down going down to school and this one here which is just such this is just um, outside of our outside of our house and this day all of my friends I think I had maybe six friends who were taking photos of these clouds and all like tagging me <laughs> or, like sending me private messages of what they did and then there was a whole heap of others just you know up on Facebook at the at the time um, mm. And, you know, we have just such pretty, uh, you know, pretty sunsets here, um, here in Australia as well. So um, we always have, you know, really good, really good luck, I guess, with, with those. We have such pretty skies. Um, here's another one. Um, this is from a couple of months ago, actually. I think that one, I ever so slightly edited that, but not a, like, a Photoshop edit. That was just a, you know, change the, change the filter ever so slightly. Um, on those and I'll be going into some more slight you know like stormier skies and things um, and dealing with some more sort of like cloudy sort of blander skies that don't have as much blue in them as well and as I said um, in the last couple of paintings I've been doing I've been adding in some more cobalt teal into the um, ultramarine as well just to get rid of that you know one color blandness with that um, let me see if I can find that one where is it ah oh, here it is yeah so this is another one that I've been working on um, and you can see here that sort of ultramarine gradient down and there's a little bit of cobalt um, down in um, that part there which is cool and then just adding in some little little wee clouds and things in there just because clouds aren't all the same size except if they're those three blobby clouds I saw on the way to the shops and then they are um, just adds a little bit little bit of extra extra depth and I'm getting there. I'm getting happier with these. Um, they're certainly a lot better than my earlier, where are they, early efforts. Like, look, I, I still love this painting, but the clouds up here are really, you know, a little bit, a little bit crap. But, you know, as I said, progress is progress. And that's what this is all about. It's all about learning and, you know, um, you know, just showing, showing you guys that, you know, there's, there's a process and, you know, we get there and I have I'm so happy with where we have you know where I have gone I mean this is you know six months ago 
yeah so <laughs> you know it's not very long ago and you know we just made so much you know so much progress and just the daily paintings I'm really enjoying trying to paint and just get something little done oh yeah okay I made a big blob in the middle of that which I wasn't very happy with um, just painting something every day just getting something down on canvas you know the whole daily painting idea of just getting your head around getting something done and getting something started so you're not sitting there and procrastinating I'm a big procrastinator. I do it all the time. I sit there and I'll clean the house and I'll do it with the paperwork. Actually, no, I don't. I procrastinate about doing paperwork. But I do everything else before I can possibly do what it is that I am supposed to be doing. So in particularly if I'm scared about making a mistake or something like that, I just don't, don't do it um, kind of thing. In fact, this one um, is actually the draft for the real one as well. So um, I, I did two sketches at the same time and... Um, yeah, I was just going to paint paint that one to get a rough idea of what colours I wanted. Figured out that the greens suck and I will be repainting that shortly. Anyway, so here we are. It's taken me a little a little bit of a while to get this 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 sky in. It's not a really easy sky. Um, you know, if I was doing a 30 minute, you know, daily painting, I couldn't I couldn't put in all of this um, all of this detail. I really would have to either focus on one thing or one thing or the other. And in fact, the foreground really wasn't um, wasn't too magical on this. And this this video really is a little bit more about the um, about the sky. And uh, what I am doing now is I'm making up like a, a bluey grey colour and adding in some um, some yellowy yellowy colours, some yellow ochre and blue, just a smidge in there. And a little bit more, a little bit more, um, just to start off the uh, the um, the ground. So I'm going. I'm looking for because grass is not not always you know green. In this case, it's a very sort of um, a dull a dull sort of uh, hasn't rained in a long time green that we're going for. And I'm like, oh no, and it does need some more yellow ochre into there. And a little bit of the just a little bit of that burnt sienna and things like that okay and what i'm doing is just sort of following the shapes a little bit sort of down and up and around just to sort of figure out roughly where i want this main uh, main shape to be adding in you can see there's little bits of um, either yellow ochre or shadow down where i'm thinking this is going to be i'm not really following um, anything in particular for this I was just painting something that was kind of going underneath the um, underneath that sky and it would help if I could find the jolly painting where have I put it <coughs> where is it yeah so we're ending up with um, uh, like a, a hill there's some little cliffs and things down in the front here and um, that sort of that saddle sort of shape in there where there's going to be a little bit of extra a little bit of light sort of and then the shadowy side down um, down here and trees and things I was going to put in some uh, I was going to change I guess change the perspective we'll scale around a little bit and put in some little houses and stuff coming down this hill and make this seem a little bit bigger and things and I'm like mm, don't have time I just wanted to get this done it was, uh, took me about an hour I think to paint this whole painting so a little bit you know on the I guess medium sort of a level of you know time wise for the daily paintings for me um, but there we go and I'm just sort of adding in some you know just adding in a little bit of extra paint a little bit of texture just trying to get a little bit of form in there um, adding in some slightly brighter yellows where the Sun is going to be hitting uh, those shapes as you can see on that right hand side of that sort of saddle with where there's going to be a little bit more Sun because the cliffs are a little bit more in the um, in the shadow <clears throat> and just adding adding in those and um, I've been working as you know on trying to change around my palette just a little bit as well and um, trying to get a little bit more cohesion in the paintings because another another little wee thing to do with you know painting and colors and things in your paintings if you're using colors in you know from the sky in your landscapes it kind of helps title you know together a little bit sometimes if you're using weird like three or four blues in a painting um, you can it's, it's can lose that sort of cohesion I guess a little bit and I just kind of like trying to blend them all together and make some prettier greys and um, 
here. I'm not used to using really bright colors in my in my work so um, yeah just going back to some more of those more earth color you know palettes and things and sometimes having that brighter yellow and things is, is quite helpful as well but still yeah so just painting in these cliffs it's just a case of some gray and some brown and some white and I'm just sort of building up the layers and figuring out exactly where I want those um, I want those shapes I put a little bit too much on there and I'm just letting it dry before I go back and um, and sort of fix it they look a bit stripy and then just you know adding in little bits of little bits of light I've just put in a little bit of a shadow there from where I want the greens and I've just added in there that yucky color phthalo green I hate phthalo green but but I've really been finding it's been quite helpful in um, in painting greens uh, as long as you don't use it by itself I hate it by itself um, I just don't like it just adding them all yeah just adding in a little bit of shadow and things like this I wasn't really sure what I was doing with this as I said greens is the next one I just wanted to get something down on the um, down on the canvas with uh, with that and just popping in some little little bits and pieces it's quite a sparse landscape I'm imagining that's probably like good old New Zealand gorse bush or something along those lines maybe I should have put some yellow up on top of it actually did I yes I did there we go gorse I fell into I don't know are there any of you guys from New Zealand like I fell into a gorse bush when I was younger you know you put your hand down in it and it's just like the prickles and they get infected and oh it's hideous like yeah no I mean it's bad when it's fresh but it's even I think almost even worse if it's been you know cut down or something and then it's all dried as well and then you put your ew, it's nasty um, we used to go cycling and things in New Zealand my dad and I and um, yeah well actually no I wish I'd probably just left this painting exactly how it is I think I added in too much stuff for it at the end anyway so let's just pretend it's there that's finished but no um <laughs> yeah I fell into gorse bush and stuff when I was doing cycling and things with dad in New Zealand and it's not really not really yeah amazing but that's okay yeah so I'm um, coming up next I will be doing some more paintings to do with the maybe stormy skies and also going into some greens I have done a video of um, of this one I'm still I'm not amazingly happy with the with the greens in this yet but we'll get there um, I mean do you have like a particular color that you know you have difficulties working with um, and I'm just sort of trying to go through you know sort of color by color or and, you know, theme by theme and sort of do lots of practice on one thing all in one go and you kind of get into like a routine and a rhythm you know where um, I know what I'm doing with those skies now like to paint them that way and if I want to paint that sky I know I can I can just do that it's not luck I'm not you know guessing or fiddling around I can get something that is you know remarkably similar um, you know how sometimes when you're just playing around you just get something random by by sheer luck and things but yeah so just you know take a I guess with these daily paintings I'm just sort of taking a theme and having a go and seeing where we are with that one the next one I'm doing actually is nothing even remotely related to that and it is this little wee one here that I did um, I just wanted to have a play with a um, a brighter sky for for a little bit and um, that'll be the next one I think that I'll be I'll be posting um, just because the video is finished so I'll be able to get that one get that one up soon which is which is good and yeah anyway so thanks for watching guys and um, you know I appreciate you following my little little wee journey through uh, learning learning to paint and I'm going to be doing a whole heap of um, videos just going through you know the materials and um, one thing a lot of people ask me about all the time, as I said, was like pigments and things in um, in paints. And I know I did that little video on the um, some of the slightly more you know, like dangerous pigments and things that are in paints. Well, not dang, well, they are, but you know, just things to be aware of to do with paints. Because a lot of people do assume that acrylic paints 
um, because a lot of you know it's kids paints acrylic paints kid, you know it's it's kids paint they just assume that they are um, completely non-toxic and that's not really the case so um, you know non-toxic you know <laughs> yeah would you want to eat them no no you don't want to go and eat these sorts of things particularly like your cadmiums and all that kind of stuff so um, if you're interested in that actually go back and have a little look at that video um, it's got some interesting interesting stuff in it and I'm going to be going through the pigments and things as well because um, Quite a few people don't know how to figure out what's inside what's inside your paint. It's really easy and it's really interesting. Um, I just I find it super interesting to figure out what's inside my paints and things, so I know how to how to change them up and things. Now I kind of wish I hadn't put in that little blob down the end there on the the left hand side, and I've been meaning to go back and maybe take it out. Um, but you know, not everything's perfect, and I don't do everything perfect by a long shot. And I am quite certain in you know three months' time, I'm going to look back at this painting and go, "Ew, yuck!" I hope that's the case because that means I'm you know getting better. And um, you know, I really enjoy seeing you know going back and looking at some of my older artwork at the moment because it's crap. But um, yeah, so that's sort of this week's sort of in. Um, in art there. I did those two little wee uh, cartoon figures down there for my daughters and also the um, one on the right hand side there that's for a friend that's not finished yet. I've done sort of most of the sky and some of the background but I haven't really done a lot on the foreground greens and then you can see at the background there that big the square one that I was doing and then it's it's pre hmm, the one I did before it um, which the sky wasn't finished it was just a you know like a let's see where we're going with the with the mountains and just a different a slightly different style I guess than I have been doing so anyway thanks for watching and um, uh, please leave a comment below and say hi I'll pop over and see what you're doing and um, yeah happy painting to everyone all right guys see you later I think my voice is cracking out again I don't it's been like two and a half weeks surely this should be gone by now anyway at least it's not quick all right bye guys